Hello friends, today's topic is difference between forward proxy, reverse proxy and load balancer. So what are all these and what are the differences between them? So the first is start from forward proxy. So you can see the image forward proxy. It basically works with the client sites. Basically in your intranet, you can set up a forward proxy so that uh, it can interact with the internet. okay so what is forward proxy a proxy works on behalf for your client machines and talk to the outer world internet or servers a simple proxy is also known as forward proxy so that the outer world internet is not able to track the real client machine from where the request is generated what a proxy server can do for client machines it can act as a firewall okay it can do caching for your response so it can do the security level like uh, masking your identity ip fingerprints locations of your client machine in your intranet it can do ssl acceleration like encrypting decrypting your request data so these all the things a forward proxy or a proxy server do for you so basically a proxy server is set up in the internet intranet in which multiple client machines have been there so that the outer world is not able to track from where the ori original request has arrived like in your company or offices okay the second one is reverse proxy the reverse proxy is exactly the opposite of this so the proxy server is set up at the server side okay so let's suppose your company or something has organization have multiple <coughs> servers so you set up a reverse proxy so that a client or multiple clients can interact with only the proxy not with directly with the servers okay the reverse proxy works on behalf of your servers and talk to the outer world or internet or servers or clients so that the other world of internet is not able to track the real server machine so they cannot hack your servers what a reverse proxy server can do for servers it can do load balancing it can do caching security ssl acceleration like encryption decryption of data request and compress the data it can also the zip your data size okay at server at reverse proxy server level okay so basically a reverse proxy can do uh, do the exact the same work like of uh, proxy server but uh, here the one most thing is added the uh, load balancing so a reverse proxy is mainly differs from the forward proxy in means of load balancing so you can set up a load balancer on your reverse proxy so that uh, it can deviate the multiple traffics to your multiple machines and distribute the equal traffic to your multiple server instances so that one server will not hang okay so the third one is load balancer so you can see in the image that the load balancer do what the a, a user comes to the load balancer and uh, and the load balancer decides where or which server it have to be sent the request if you have multiple servers okay so a load balancer help a server to reduce load and direct redirect the traffic to the other servers if available when a load balance what a load balancing server do for your servers load balancing of traffic on your server side okay so here is a summarized of the differences you can see forward proxy firewall caching security ssl acceleration compression so a reverse proxy also have all thing and as well as a load balancing caching security ssl acceleration compression of data and a load balancer role is only for load balancing the data so a reverse proxy also work as a load balancer but a load balancer cannot work as a reverse proxy okay okay subscribe to our channel return connect or also you can visit our website returnconnect.com and join the professional community Okay.
ओके थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग